Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So lately I've seen a lot of chatter on the new Harbor Freight 1299 hatchet. So I figured I'd buy one and give you my thoughts on this 1299 hatchet. Stay tuned, let's take a look at this thing. Okay guys, let's get into this. What can we expect for 1299? Well, not a lot. So what we have here is one and a quarter pound traditional style hatchet. Let's break it down for what it is and talk about its uh, shortcomings and strengths. 1299 steel hatchet head wooden handle okay that's that's a good start we typically see synthetic handles on hatchets in this price range i like the fact that it does have wood hang is not ideal it's not so bad up here but there is you can see the the wood wedge fills a large gap up here meaning the handle eye was not large enough for the the axe eye no big deal but until you come down here and you see, we have that same gap. We have that same gap and it's pretty considerable. So it's not the greatest hang in the world. Now what's wrong with this is over time, moisture, dirt, whatever can work its way down into this hole and then cause the handle to loosen. Um, yeah, it's just a basic, like, let's get this wooden handle in this head kind of deal. So, the hang isn't the greatest, but it's adequate. I guess it's usable. Um, the grain orientation on this handle is pretty good. I did spend a little bit of time uh, looking through a pile of these to get the best one, the one that I felt was the best. I wasn't so much concerned about the grain orientation on a short uh, axe like this. I typically, um, I'm looking for a better hang than anything. And, and this one was is the best I could find, which is not, it's not saying much. What is this thing? 14 inches, 15 inches. So it's 15 inch long hatchet. The handle overall is, is pretty decent. It's got some unique features here where it's, it's really like a three position handle. Uh, you got a pretty good grip. It feels real comfortable, choked up. This would be great for fine work. Then you got a good mid grip when uh, you don't need all the power. And then you got a decent little Fawn's foot here to catch your pinky. Overhaul the handles, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Of course, it's got a nice lacquer finish on it. And when I say nice, I'm being sarcastic, but they do that for a reason we understand. That, that that's just part of um, commercial axes. They're gonna put some sort of lacquer on the handles. Overall head design, it's, it's pretty decent. It's got a nice wide bit here, very thin tapered. The grind is just awful. I don't know what, it's almost flat on this side and a bevel on this side. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that. One of the worst grinds I've ever seen. Out of the box straight from the store. You could use this, but it's not gonna be very efficient. You're gonna to need to do some work. At minimum, you're gonna to have to fix this edge. So who's this ax for? Well, that's a good question. Who is this ax for? Or hatchet, I guess. There's a lot of better choices out there. Let's put it that way. I do not see the value in buying this ax and then putting a different handle on it to fix the shortcomings of the eye. Uh, this, it's just not economical. You can still buy vintage hatchets at a fairly reasonable price. I, it's, I see them all the time from the 12, 10, 12, $14 range at flea markets. Even a hatch, half hatchet would be a better quality steel than what this probably is. So I don't see the point of buying this, taking the handle off and then putting a, a, an upgraded handle in it. It just, it's not feasible. If you're someone that, that just wants a hatchet for light work you're not real serious about camping or you don't do it very often and you don't really want to take the time to learn how to hang an axe or uh, do any of the other work that's involved then th this would be a decent choice not it wouldn't be bad there'd be worse things you could do you would have to at minimum learn how to to sharpen an axe I, I just don't see how that edge would be very efficient at all Maybe we'll test the edge like this. If you just wanted an axe to throw. <laughs> well, here's the axe. Buy this thing. <laughs> I'm sure this would make a great throwing axe. I have no idea. I'm not into throwing axes, but 
I, it always cringe when I see somebody use a nice vintage axe for throwing. Buy these, guys. Buy these. So where do we go from here? What do we do? Well, let's make it as usable as possible. Let's do something with this. Let's, let's do a little mock-up camp scenario. Let's see, when to make a tent peg. Yeah, the edge is just awful. I tell you, I do, I do like the grip. I mean, I, I don't think it could get any worse. So if you're just gonna use this thing right out of the box, you're gonna have to be, uh, be mindful of your wood choice. Something easy to split. This is Willow. All right, guys, this thing's so incredibly unevenly ground. I just, I'm not willing to spend the time it's going to take to hit, to do this with a file. I just don't want to invest that much time in this thing. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use my 2x72 grinder. Now you can do this with a file. It, it, it's just going to take you time. So if, if you bought one of these hatchets and you're not familiar with sharpening, this is, it's, it's, this is a good one to learn on. Uh, there's plenty of videos that show how to sharpen axes. I'm not going to do one of those today, but uh, you could spend the time with a file and get this right. Uh, I just, I'm not willing to devote that much time to this. So I got a bucket of water down here and I'm going to keep my hand behind the blade. When it gets hot, I'm going to quench or quench it with the water, I guess. We're, we're not going to affect the heat treat here, guys. You have to go way above 300, 400 degrees. That's not, we're not going to get nowhere near that. Um, I can tell you from filing this with a hand file, the steel isn't that good anyway. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't have that great of a temper in it anyway. So, um, we're not doing any damage. We've already got a burr all the way across, so it, it's sharp. I'm just trying to make this edge as even as possible now. is instead of straight it's like tilted it's that's bad Now that she's sharp, let's go ahead and put this back on. Let's see what we can do about this handle. Aww.
All right, guys, let's see. Let's see if our hard work paid off. Oh, nice and sharp now. Yep. All right, let's wrap this video up. So, I don't. It didn't turn out too bad. It's not a bad hatchet. Um, the steel is a little soft. It's a tough balance on on axe steel. You don't want it too hard, but you don't want it too soft. You don't want it too hard because when you hit wood with the striking force that you can get from an axe or a hatchet, it could break, and you don't want it too soft because the edge will roll. Now, I obviously didn't do enough uh, work to tell if that edge is gonna roll or not. It still feels pretty good after I sharpened it. Still feels pretty sharp. So, it's not bad. Uh, profile's not bad, the handle's not bad. I actually, I actually don't mind the handle. It, it looks awful, in my opinion, but it's very comfortable, very user-friendly. So, would I recommend this at this hatchet? I would recommend it for practice. If if you're new to axe collecting and you want to get some some practice with a few things, get your feet wet. There's there's some solid training in this axe. So one of them obviously would be fix that edge. The edge was just ground completely wrong. It was like one side of the edge was ground, the other side was flat. So I, it did take a lot of work to get that edge to where it comes to a nice convex so that would be very good practice for a beginner um, with a file get yourself a good file and practice on one of these it's, it's very inexpensive so if you mess it up it's not a big deal and then there's some room to play with the handle here all we really did is remove the varnish and uh, put some oil on it made a lanyard hole and put a, a leather lanyard on it it wasn't anything crazy but there's some some solid skills in there to learn you know one removing varnish finishing a handle stuff like that if you wanted to octagon this handle it'd be a great one to play with if you wanted to um thin it down a little bit again a great one to play with it like i said earlier in the video would i buy this to replace the head or replace the handle with a different hand no i wouldn't i, I would just go find a nice antique um hatchet and go from there. I will say this, this thin profile on this blade is actually kind of hard to find in a antique hat hatchet. So there might be a one up advantage there. So I don't know. Overall, it's, it's $12.99. So you can't be real picky. It's a decent little hatchet and I'm sure I'll find a use for it here around the homestead. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe take it camping or something. I might, I might make a sheath for it at some point. 
we'll see. It would take a little bit of time. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this thing, but uh, we'll see. If, if enough of you watch the end of this video and we get, let's say, 50 likes on this video, 50 thumbs up on the video, I'll make a, I'll make a video of a sheath for this axe. So better tell your friends to watch the end of the video. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.